Welcome to Unwired Learning. In this video, we're going to talk about the MOSFET with a larger value of drain to source voltage. In particular, we're going to talk about the development of equations for the current that goes through from drain to source and how that differs from the previous video. This will give rise to the idea of modes of operation in the MOSFET. In particular, we're going to talk about two modes, triode mode and saturation. The reason that this is important is because when we have a larger value of VDS, we have a significant electric field in the direction from D to S, as well as the electric field that we have from G to body, and this affects the channel shape. It affects the way that the carriers are distributed in this. In fact, another way that we could look at this is the fact that because we have p-type materials in the substrate and an n-type well at the drain, we have a p-n junction. And we know that if we have a p-n junction in this direction, we can think of the fact that we have a diode right there. And by adding a larger VDS, we're in fact reverse biasing this diode to a greater extent, actually increasing the depletion region around this p-n junction. This is the real reason, the physical reason, why the channel shape changes. But all of these things and all of these changes occur as a result of increasing the value of VDS. So we can make a simplification and we can look at the channel shape that is a result of the increase in VDS and only think about the fact that it's in proportion to VDS. Over here on the left in this picture, I have a couple of lines. This first area here that is shaded in green is the shape of the channel when we have a larger value of VDS. Whereas the line that is depicted in gray here was the original line that we had when we had a small value of VDS and we approximated the channel shape as if it were rectangular. Now we can see that when we have a larger value of VDS, the channel shape is in fact not rectangular, rather it is more trapezoidal in shape. Because of this, we need to rethink our equations that we developed in the previous video. As you may recall, in the previous video we determined that the value of the drain current is equal to Kn VOV VDS, where Kn is equal to mu n C ox width divided by length. And VOV, as you may recall, is the overvoltage, which is the value of VGS minus the threshold voltage. And this works if we think about the channel shape as being rectangular. But we're going to have to make a modification to this current equation ID now that we know that the channel shape is in fact more trapezoidal due to the larger value of VDS. The question at hand now is how to modify the value of ID given the fact that the channel shape is trapezoidal. And in this, what we're actually going to do is we're going to focus on this value of VOV, and we're going to see how that part of the equation is modified. If you recall, the value of VOV is what gave rise to the channel in the first place. And now that we have a VDS, and now that we know that this VDS is significant, we must think about how VDS modifies the channel shape. But of course, that means we're going to make a modification to VOV. So how do we visualize this modification? Over here on the left, we have a plot. On the vertical axis, we have voltage. On the horizontal axis, we have distance. And so what we're going to think about is the origin over here is the side with the source. Over here to the right is the drain. And again, in the vertical axis, we are plotting voltages. So here's some voltages that we already know. We know that we have applied a value VGS to the device. Part of that VGS first has to overcome the threshold in order to move the carriers away in the channel. Then above at that threshold, we have our overvoltage. This overvoltage is what gives rise to the channel shape. However, now over here on the right, we have a drain voltage. We can plot a potential now that we know that there's a drain voltage. This potential on the source side will start at the origin, and on the drain side will go up by the, whatever value we have for VDS. And this line represents the voltage drop across the channel. The fact that this line is straight actually makes our job pretty easy. 
we can define a few things, and in particular, it is pretty nice to be able to define things at the halfway point. Why the halfway point? Well, because that will give us an average value about how this voltage here, VDS, changes the shape of the channel. So let's look at the values right here at the middle. Right here at the middle, this voltage, since it starts at zero on the left and goes up to VDS on the right, this must be one half VDS. That means that this other distance right here is going to be VOV minus one half VDS. And it turns out that this is exactly how we need to modify the VOV over here on the right in order to come up with a new equation for the drain current. So now the drain current is given as ID equals KN quantity, the over voltage minus one half VDS times VDS. And this equation is the equation for current in a mode that we call triode mode. The question then arises, what happens if we have a value of VDS that's even larger? Well, if we have a value of VDS that causes the channel shape to be trapezoidal, as we continue to raise that value of VDS, that shape will become more and more trapezoidal. And there'll be a point right when that shape becomes triangular. And this point is what we call the pinch-off point. Again, we're going to illustrate this in this graph where we have plotted voltage on the vertical axis and distance on the horizontal axis. For reference, I have put the line here that we had from the previous discussion on triode mode. Now, as we increase the value of VDS, we can see that there becomes a critical point when VDS equals the value of VOV. And that value, when VDS equals VOV, gives rise to a new mode that we call saturation. And what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in this equation that we had for triode mode, the value of VDS is equal to VOV, and we're going to simplify the equation. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now the equation becomes KN VOV minus one half VOV times VOV. And that equation simplifies. First, let's distribute the value of VOV in. So we have KN VOV squared minus one half VOV squared. And of course, VOV squared minus one half VOV squared will give us KN one half VOV squared. Rearranging this equation, we can get one half KN VOV squared. And this final equation right here, one half KN VOV squared, is the equation for current in saturation mode. To summarize, we have determined that there are two modes of operation in which current flows from drain to source. The first mode is triode mode. This mode is known because of the trapezoidal shape of the channel. And looking at the trapezoidal shape of the channel, we were able to determine an equation for the current. That is, ID equals KN VOV minus one half VDS quantity times VDS. However, once this value of VDS became even larger, this channel shape changed and became triangular. And that gave rise to a new mode that we call saturation. This mode is when we have a channel that is now pinched. Because of this pinched channel, we have modified the equation ID to give us one half KN VOV squared. And these two equations are the current equations for the MOSFET. All we have to do now is determine which mode a circuit is in to be able to know which equation to use. And that concludes this video of Unwired Learning.